What's up everybody? Today we're going to be reviewing the Aki 1080p Full HD webcam. So here we go. Let's get this unboxing done. So I ordered this webcam on Amazon because I only have a 720p webcam. And that is just not acceptable anymore. And plus it's broken. Every time I move the wire, it just shuts off. So. Be very, very careful. Unbox a knife. Put that away before I stab myself. And this is the webcam. Now, Aki, if you didn't know, Aki makes a bunch of electronic devices, mostly for, like, uh, I didn't know they made webcams like this, but they made car chargers, uh, portable chargers, uh, all types of small electronics like that, and some other cool stuff. So you could check them out on the website, but... I mean, this camera is very, very inexpensive. And guess how much it was on Amazon. So on their website, also, it was on sale at $35 for this bad boy. And on Amazon, it was $33. So it's pretty cheap for, for a 1080p webcam. Now, usually 1080p webcams are pretty expensive so i mean at least 50 dollars if you're going for some weird knockoff uh chinese brand but aki i've used many of their products in the past and oh look at that well that's pretty cool but aki makes some pretty decent electronics i have a couple of their chargers and they've lasted me a pretty long time so i do i i trust aki as a brand so i mean it's pretty simple the webcam comes in this little plastic bag like that and at first glance it's actually pretty cool so if you look on Amazon, they have two versions of this camera. There's a first generation and a second generation. So this first gen, uh, this is the second gen, just so you know, version two. So there's a first gen, but that one is a little bigger than this one. And it also doesn't have this 360 swivel. So this version two webcam has a 360 swivel which is actually pretty decent and supposedly it has some like uh high quality microphones but we'll test it out in a second so yeah this is pretty much it the webcam and it's oh this is actually pretty cool this webcam has um i guess uh a mount so you could put on a tripod or or something like that so if you have a mini tripod like this one the little bendy tripod you could probably put it on there too if you wanted to or some other tiny tiny tripod like uh, it's not there but so it works on tripods so that's pretty cool and it actually swivels front and back side to side which is actually pretty cool and remember this is a 1080p webcam for 30 bucks now, if you look at Logitech webcams, which is basically the leading webcams, uh, they're going for uh, at least $80 for a, a cheap 720p camera. And the 1080p is over $100, easy, easy. So yeah, this is the webcam. It looks pretty cool. And I'm gonna set it up on the computer and we're gonna see how it works. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do some lighting adjustments on it. 
and we'll see what type of quality we can get from this. So here we are guys, this is the Aki webcam footage. So I am using a big uh, LED light right here. Uh, so don't mind how bright it looks because I'm going to show you guys how to adjust that uh, on Streamlabs or OBS, pretty similar. But uh, you could find other tutorials online for that. So specifically on Streamlabs, how to adjust the camera. So as you can tell, this is actually a pretty decently wide camera. You're basically capturing my the whole rest of my room. So uh, for the purpose of this video, uh, I'm going to actually use the built-in camera audio. It has dual microphones on there. Uh, yes, dual microphone. And instead of using this uh, better microphone, so you guys can kind of see the difference uh, between more of uh, good audio and built-in webcam audio. So, yeah, uh, right now I'm recording on the webcam audio. So we have right here, I'm going to show you how to going to show you how to adjust the webcam footage on Streamlabs so if you go to whatever your webcam is double click it it's gonna pop up this window and then you got your settings right here so I set my resolution at 1920 by 1080 which is 1080p and then this camera has 30 frames per second so if you see right here uh, we'll switch back so if you see right here it's actually pretty decent 30 frames per second so I mean it's of course it's not the best but 30 frames per second on a webcam is actually pretty good it looks like almost like a normal video camera so this is and you got a little bit of motion blur which is not even that bad so back to with the settings so we'll go here um, basically everything else if you want to see uh, video format any color space default color range default color buffering auto detect and audio output capture audio only but that's just for the purpose of this video. So, uh, if you want to adjust the camera settings on Streamlabs, just go to Configure Video right here. And then, you can adjust your camera settings. So, if you look right here, you got Video Proc Amp. And you also have Camera Control. So, right, if you go to camera control, you can adjust the exposure, which is pretty cool. So, just by taking it off of auto exposure, it kind of fixes that super highly exposed footage. So, just taking it off was like almost fixes the whole video. But you can also do more if you want. So, I'm going to do apply on there. And then we'll go back here and then we can change the brightness, we can change the contrast, we can change the hue, saturation, sharp, sharpness, gamma, white balance, and backlight. And also the gain. So I'm not going to go too crazy because it actually looks pretty good how it is right now. Let's see by turning down the brightness a little bit, just to show you, we can turn it all the way up, but let's just turn it down just a tad, and then we'll turn the contrast up just a tad, but not too much. So, hue and saturation I'm going to leave, because I want to, I like the colors that it has right now, more of a natural color. Sharpness I'm not going to touch, because that screws it up a lot, but you can if you want to, it's your decision. But right here, the only thing I'm going to change right here, so it, the white balance is at 4600. And let's see, taking it off of auto, it kind of changes it blue. 
so I think I'm just gonna leave it on auto but yeah that's how you adjust the camera settings on your webcam now the contrast kind of screwed it up a little bit so let's turn the contrast down just a tad but yeah you can see how you can basically change the camera settings how you want and it actually looks pretty decent and right now it looks a little noisy but that's just because that's just because it's dark right now I mean if I were to put more lights of course it would look a lot better so I'm just gonna hit apply on there and then push ok and then that's basically it so this is the webcam footage from the Aki 1080p Full HD version 2 so there we have it guys this is the Aki 1080p Full HD version 2 webcam on sale on Amazon and on sale on the Aki website. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and we'll catch you guys on the next one.